Hi, and thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to review the Typar Drainable Wrap. My name is Jeff Calabrese, and my company is Preferred Marketing Associates. We're the manufacturer sales agents for Typar in the Northeast. We've been in business for 38 years, representing high quality manufacturers in the building and millwork industry. For more information on our company, please visit preferredmarketing.net. Today's presentation is about the Typar Drainable Wrap. The Drainable Wrap from Typar is part of the Typar Weather Protection System. The Weather Protection System is a complete system that includes the building wrap, the seam tape, the window and door flashings, and the solution for all of the mechanical penetration. Whether you're selling, installing, or specifying a weather resistant barrier or building envelope system, it's really important for you to make sure you specify, install, or sell a complete system by one manufacturer. Typar manufactures all of their own wraps, tapes, and flashing material to ensure compatibility with the wraps and other materials on the construction site, like the window flanges and various sealants. And because they build all of these components and wraps together and test them together, they back this complete system with a lifetime warranty. It's very important, again, to make sure you choose a manufacturer that has a complete system because a WRB or weather resistant barrier system really has to integrate um, seamlessly into the windows, the doors, the termination points, and only the material manufactured by one manufacturer will be backed up by that manufacturer. Today's presentation is about drainage, uh, drainable wraps and drainage. So why is drainage important? Well, more manufacturers of cladding are recommending drainage behind their products. And more designers and specifiers are understanding the benefit of keeping the wall dry and getting rid of any water that gets behind. Plus, we see a new trend in cladding products that really are designed to have drainage behind them. We see more drainage products coming into the market. DuPont introduced a drain rain screen. Tamlin has a drainable wrap that's been on the market for years. The, rain, the raindrop product by Kingspan, another drainable solution. Tyvek drain wrap, Benjamin Updike Hydrogap, and then the Typar drainable wrap. So what makes Typar different? Why is the Typar drainable wrap a wrap you should choose? First of all, it's built on Typar. Typar has a proven history in the market. It's a major player in most uh, building markets across the country and North America. The material is a polypropylene based fiber spun bond material with a microporous coating. It can be installed under any types of cladding. It's exceptionally strong. And again, it has a proven track record in the market. It also has some very uh, leading industry met metrics. So it's strong. The polypropylene material is exceptionally strong making sure that the material stays on the building when it's installed. It also allows for uh, greater distance between fastener spacing, reducing the amount of fasteners required. It's five times stronger than our leading competitor. Water holdout. Materials like WRBs are tested for bulk water holdout. And that's important because any water that gets behind the cladding, you want the WRB to keep out from entering the wall and the wall cavity. The Typar product has four times the amount of bulk water holdout than our leading competitor. So it's sure to protect your sheathing and your building. Not only does a WRB need to keep water out, but today it has to keep air out as well. WRB requirements today require them to have and, and pass some air permeance requirements. And TIPAR exceeds those requirements by 300%, helping to reduce air changes per hour in the house, making for a tighter home 
and helping your clients pass the blower door test. Ultraviolet light protection. Kaipar offers six months protection, which is two months longer than the industry leading wrap. Um, so the material can be exposed for six months before it needs cladding. This is a key metric, it's breathability. That's the material's ability to allow moisture vapor to transfer through it. Most building scientists and industry experts agree that the sweet spot for materials permeance should be somewhere between 10 and 20 perms. The type R material is rated at 11.7 perms, right in that sweet spot. And then because this is part, the type R is part of the type R protection system that goes with the flashings and tapes by type R, that complete system carries a lifetime warranty, which is by far the longest warranty on a building envelope product in our industry. The type R drainable wrap provides all of these industry leading metrics along with 94.8% drainage efficiency. So it's very efficient at moving the water that gets behind the cladding down and out away from the structure. You saw in the video these bright orange fibers. These are polypropylene orange fibers that are applied to the surface of the type R material. This creates a non-compressible gap behind the siding or cladding, allowing for drainage. This, uh, these fibers are placed in a randomized pattern, allowing for horizontal and vertical redistribution of the water allowing the water to break up and drain faster. It also, this random pattern also allows for the material, the type R drainable material to be installed in any direction. It doesn't have to go in a particular direction to allow for drainage. If you see from this diagram, you can see the drainage gap created by those polypropylene fibers that are applied to the surface. This is a non-compressible gap that again allows for a breakup and redistribution of the water so that it can efficiently drain down and out away from the building. No matter if the water gets in through joints and siding or is blown up or is, uh, is, uh, gets behind the cladding because of the pres pressure differences, um, again, it gets redistributed and drained out and away from the building. Why is drainage important? Well, one reason is solar driven moisture. So on a typical rainy day, like you see in the picture to the left, you could have water that gets behind the cladding or gets pulled in by pressure. And it kind of pulls on the lap siding or anything that might be pressed up against the, the structure. And it just hangs out there. And what happens when the sun comes out, if you look to the picture to the right, that standing water will turn into water vapor as it evaporates. And some of that will be driven away and to the outside, but some of that will want to drive inward since it's probably cooler and air conditioned inside. And so it's very important to get rid of that water so that water doesn't turn into vapor that could drive inward. And it's also very important to make sure that that weather resistant barrier you install, sell, or specify has the right breathability and is the right check valve there so that it keeps water out, but also allows that moisture that does get in to escape. 
Some other trends that are driving drainage in our industry is the influence of commercial construction. We see a lot of fiber cement panels and panel construction that, and wall assemblies that would typically be associated with commercial uh, high rise buildings that are starting to influence residential construction. So in this particular installation, you see the type R drainable wrap on a multifamily project in Virginia. It's a drainable wrap, and then it has continuous insulation pressed right up against it. And anytime you use a continuous insulation, it's good to allow for drainage so that you're not holding water tight up against the building wrap. And then on top of the insulated panel is furring strips and then a fiber cement panel. So you had drainage behind the panel with the furring strip and then drainage behind the insulation boards with the drainage wrap. Some of this residential construction that's being influenced by commercial, if you look at the picture to the bottom middle of the screen, you see that sort of modern looking residential home that's featuring uh, fiber cement panels that would typically be seen on a commercial project like that multifamily project that requires drainage behind it. That is a large flat surface that you just don't want trapping water tied up against your building wrap or your sheathing. And so a drainage plain behind that is very much recommended. We're also seeing like to the left, mixed claddings, fiber cement panels, different stone veneers. These products all require some drainage. Some of these cementitious stone products that hold water, it's best to get rid of any water that might accumulate. And then we see this real trend to vertical siding, board and batten look, kind of modern farmhouse look. Again, these are large flat pieces of siding that get pressed tight up against the building. So it's important to provide a gap back there, a non-compressible gap to allow drainage. And then finally, the picture to the bottom right is horizontal gap siding. This is siding that we see deck boards being used in applications like this. Um, this is siding that is designed to have open gaps that allow water to come in. And this certainly requires drainable products behind it. Some of the fiber cement manufacturers, this is uh, information right out of the James Hardy multifamily commercial um, in installation instructions. On their vertical siding and their panel products, they uh, use this little map to describe their requirements. The white area is a relatively dry area of the country that requires just a WRB, a weather resistant barrier that will meet the local building codes. The large orange area which represents the bulk of the country, they recommend a drainage plane as an example, a drainable wrap with 90% or greater drainage efficiency. And so as you can see, that's most of the areas of the country. There's a small little area down in the hurricane belt of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, where they even require a bigger gap um, because of the wind-driven rain of 3 8 inch. The composite folks also have some requirement behind some of their vertical siding. This is an LP technical bulletin that uh, um, requires a non-compressible drainable wrap behind panel siding, lap siding installed vertically, and vertical siding. Some of the examples we showed you earlier in this presentation of manufacturers that make drainable solutions, Typar, HydroGap, Tyvek, the raindrop product, and then the Tamlin product. This little chart shows you the drainage efficiency of the products. They're all above 90%. They, they need to be in order to qualify as a drainable wrap. It shows you their perm rating or moisture vapor transmission rates. Again, 10 to 20 is the sweet spot. You'll see most of them in that range with the exception of Tyvek, which is uh, high. UV exposure, six months for Typar and the Kingspan product four months for the rest. Strength, this is measured in a trap by a trap tear test. This is where they take the material and they create a tear in it. And then they use force measured by pounds to see how, what it takes to keep that tear going. And so 30 to 35 pounds of pressure is what it required to keep that tear moving uh, with the type R material. You can see some materials, it only takes seven to nine pounds to move uh, that tear along. 
And then directional, can the material be installed in any direction? Um, some of them here can, two of them need to be installed in one direction only. And then to meet the Louisiana Pacific requirement, are they non-compressible? Well, four out of the five are non-compressible. Uh, the Tyvek product is a compressible product. And then finally, if you're gonna go through the work of comparing drainable wraps and all of these metrics to ensure you make the right choice, you should also consider the warranty. And as you will see, Taipar is the only manufacturer that offers a lifetime system warranty um, when used with the Taipar flashings and tapes. Here are some examples of some Taipar drainable jobs. This is a Lennar multifamily project in Virginia. Uh, that used the drainable wrap and I believe a fiber cement siding. This is a custom home in Avalon, New Jersey, right on the beach. This is beachfront and this used a fiber cement panel. So uh, again, a reason why they wanted drainable behind it. This was another project in the coastline in New Jersey along the bay. It uh, used type R drainable and actually had horizontal lap fiber cement siding. So whether your projects call for a drainable wrap, a commercial product like the Type R Metro wrap, or just the standard building wrap for a residential application, all of these products are available to meet the needs in your specific market or by your specific client. All of these wraps are part of the Type R weather protection system that offers a lifetime warranty. All of these wraps have available with them the flashings and tapes made by Type R, the all temperature flashing, which has a temperature application range of zero to 160, an everyday butyl flashing made of 100% butyl, the butyl flex flashing that's often used for sill flashings and sill pans, as well as radius work, construction seam tapes to seal the seams of the overlaps, again, helping you create an air barrier and pass your blow door, blower door test better, we also make double-sided seam tape, so you can still seal the seams and have a true shingled effect of your building wrap, as well as wall and penetration panels. And again, if you use all of these systems complete, the flashings, the tapes, and the individual wraps, you will be backed by a full system warranty by Type R, a lifetime full system warranty. It's the best warranty on a building envelope in the industry. I'd like to thank you for your time today. Again. The Type R weather protection system has you covered, whether it's commercial, drainable, or standard building wrap with all of the tapes and flashings. It offers a limited lifetime warranty. You put it up and we'll back you up. Thank you.